I understand your theory that gender doesn't exist. Not a lot of professionals agree, but why do you get to go to my kid's school and tell them that gender doesn't matter? And I lost my ad agency for saying trans people are mentally ill, Ill gays. Um, I don't think you're trans, first of all. I think maybe there's like 700 people in America who are genuinely unsure what gender they are. I think they are mentally ill. But the rest of you, the other millions and millions with all your pronouns, you are following a fashion trend. And, and by the way, don't teach fashion trends to my children. Hi, these are punks and mods. It's really important that you identify as a punk or a mod or a rocker. If you go to Brighton Beach, you're going to have to fight mods uh, over your different musical tastes. No, you're not allowed to bring that into the kindergarten. <laughs> But it's starting to appear that not just that genuine trans movement are mentally ill. I'm starting to think everyone who's involved is mentally ill. I'm, I'm starting to think gays are mentally ill gays. Or at least there's a disproportionate number. Because check out this sketchbook! Look at this sketchbook! Yeah, Stop! That. Stop! That was Dylan Roof you just saw on the previous page. This page, there's Dylan Roof, my friends. And the next page, what do we got here? In the bottom right, we have Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. Remember that ACDC jam? Can you show that picture, Dave? And then we have, of course, in the middle there, inarguably that is meant to be Jeffrey Dahmer. It's a good drawing, by the way. Ayesha, I'll give you that if, if you drew this. And then in the corner is Ted Bundy. Now, we know a kid didn't draw these. They're showing this B-roll in the school. It's probably one of the adults we see in this video. It looks like it might be Aisha. Why is this trans alliance worker, if it is her, going to our schools and then sitting around drawing serial killers next to our kids? When the cameraman was going, can I get some B-roll, maybe like some uh, little clay pots you kids made? She goes, actually, you know, you might want to get this. This is like some serial killers. I've been doing a really good job of drawing. I don't want her in the school. I don't want this person around any children on earth. It's like they went into math and they said two and two is no longer four. Or what is it? Oh, it depends how you're feeling. You got to practice. You got to practice and eventually you know. I find it helps to draw serial killers. I draw people who murder women and children and innocent people. Well, you just realized your own fallacy right there. What do you mean? He hates immigrants, but he's married to one. Exactly. So why is he anti? -Mexican? Exactly. He's not. That's that's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. All Mexicans rapists. Wrong. No, he has. Wrong. Someone have a someone have. Someone pull it up. I don't know. Democrats care about the inner city when it's election time. After election time, what do you get? Zero. What was her response? Quiet. Why? Because that is the truth. He told the unadulterated truth. And even though people don't want to hear the truth, the truth is bitter, but we have to swallow it. The Democratic Party, I voted for over 20 years of my life. I voted for Barack Obama when he said he was going to bring hope and change. And yes, we can. And no, we didn't. The jobs didn't come. The better schools didn't come. The investment in our communities did not come. National security, our borders are open. We're not safe. We're not safe. And we've got to stop thinking as black and white and purple and Arab. We've got to start thinking as Americans. And that's what Donald Trump is saying. We're Americans. America first. It's the anti Maxine meet and greet and tweet a thon. Come join top social media influencers for a tweet a thon in support of anti Maxine. That's the name that she says her millions of millennial fans gave her. Our fearless champion in Congress who taught us how to reclaim our time. We're coming together to amplify Congresswoman Waters' voice and highlight her many achievements throughout her career. Millennials come energized and ready to get out the vote. She must have some incredible social media influencers backing her campaign considering this post got 33 retweets. Thankfully, for those who couldn't make it, her tech-savvy staff streamed the event on her Twitter account on Periscope. Let's take a look. Look at this incredible turnout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
and the cameraman is 11. 11 people showed up. Look at how disappointed these two girls look. They're like, I thought this was gonna be big like a Bernie Sanders rally. Look at this, the camera pans around and the room is completely empty. There's nobody there. <laughs> Why is she using a microphone when her only audience is standing five feet away from her? Called me an idiot for no reason. There he goes, there he goes. Yeah, there I go. There he goes, there he goes. Oh, what are you doing? What are you I'm not going to do anything. Of course. Because you're a coward. <laughs> Weren't you about to run away? No, I was about to leave because I don't really feel like listening to animals like you. Right. If you want to put that on the air, put that on the air. Those Will do. Air. Will do. Thank you for that content. Don't worry, son. You can do better than your father. Yeah, you're really doing a great job raising your daughters in a world of lies. Why are you not asking Muslim women about this? Why are you asking? Well, you don't see a whole lot here, do you? Their husbands probably didn't let them come. Oh my god! I've read passages and there's a lot more violence in the Bible and believe me, I grew up Catholic. That's why you see Christians running people over in the streets of London. Oh my Actually, this is the question I've been asking. Would you rather have women's rights or Islam? I actually, I actually don't have a problem with Islam. I don't see it as it being incompatible with women's rights. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I can't walk into the front door of a mosque in white chapel. It's almost like she's the black Betty White, except she's not pretending to be an airhead. If you had to give some advice to President Trump, what advice would you give him? Please resign uh, so that I won't have to keep up this fight uh, of your, you know, having to be impeached uh, because I don't think you deserve to be there. Just get out. And he's such a dirtbag that when he was running for the mayor of San Francisco, he slept with his campaign manager's wife. Here he is getting called out on it at the gubernatorial debates by Republican Travis Allen. Uh, the debate was mostly civil, but the candidates were not afraid to go on the attack, like when GOP Assemblyman Travis Allen went after Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom over his affair with an aide, who was also the wife of his campaign manager. If you can't trust Gavin with his best friend's wife, how can you trust him with your state? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard with respect to, to hear from Mr. Allen, who's a devout supporter of Donald Trump, talk about the issue of sexual harassment. So it's Donald Trump's fault that you slept with your campaign manager's wife. Okay, Gavin. This is what happens when people try to, who hate Trump try to answer them. They stutter around and they have nothing to say. I was open-minded. I tried to have a conversation with her. She threatens, to, she threatens to sue me. She just says I'm discredited and she wants some more, apparently. <laughs> what? How do you look at yourself in the mirror? With my two eyes. People that he asked his, his security guards to kick out of the rally. Oh, in Bal 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 State? Yeah. Tell me about, oh, yeah. they were protesting against him. Yeah. What is, what is that? You That's cannot shit. protest in a, in a rally. Then why would you do that? Why? It's freedom of speech. We don't go to your rally. White people. We don't, don't go to your rally. He does, does the same thing, same thing to white people, too. So I don't understand. Yeah. He does the exact same thing to white people, too. So. And that's okay. that, that makes it okay. I mean, you, if, they don't if, you're, if you're going to protest against right. us, paid for it. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't like Trump supporters. Like, Bob I was going to look it up for myself. That's what history. his grandfather and his father was KK members. Okay. Go so read the history. KKK KK members, you mean? Yes. Not KK members. They were Ku Klux Klansmen. KKK. Klansmen, okay. Who's against your color? Against your skin. Against your people, your ancestors. I think the Democratic Party founded the KKK, by the way. Just saying.